Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. I love talking to you guys, to the subscribers, to people who are watching my uh, channel and uh, recently I got a uh, comment from uh, CM of the world asking me what's my lighting setup and what advice I can give you guys um, if we're talking about lighting. So today we're going to talk about my lighting setup and I'll give you two little bonuses on how to check your light intensity in DaVinci Resolve and also a very cool trick on how to make your light cinematic with a simple filter. Keep watching. Let's go. Lighting is a very, very, very important. And if I tell you one thing, I think lighting is the basics of cinematography. If you want to invest in something, if you're a filmmaker, first of all, invest in setting up the light. Lighting, very, very important, crucial. So let me show you now what's my lighting setup. So here we have the key light and it's coming from a Forza 300 with a, a 60 inch softbox from Forza 60 and it's great. It has also a grid that keeps the light focused on myself and it doesn't spill everywhere. And if I didn't have the grid, the light would have been much softer and much dreamier. This way it keeps it more, you know, um, focused towards me. But right, this is my key light. Then up here, as you can see, I've got a uh, two lights from Nanlite. They are PaviTube 15. They're both blue. And then there you've got the pink light. It's a Nava PaviTube 15. I've got four, so when you buy them, you buy them in uh, um, a pack of four. Uh, here, this white little light is a, it's an aperture MC light, very small, very cool, powered by the small rig V-mount battery, pretty cool. And down there, I've got a Viltrox L1160. It's a very cheap LED uh, light with a gel. Um, it's a pink gel, so it has sort of like a, very interesting uh, pink light behind me and just up there the light that falls onto the onto this uh, tree onto this flower is blue it's a newer CN160 as well I put a blue gel on top of that LED light and it sort of like creates these shadows over here looks pretty cool and this is my lighting setup it's very simple but you know I think it's effective it's probably not the best and the most cinematic lighting you'll see on YouTube, but you know what? It's cheap and I think it's decent. Okay, so basically if you want a good budget lighting, what I would recommend you to do is probably invest in a Forza 60 with a softbox, you know, probably cost you $250, not more than that. And if you want to get two pavy tubes, I mean, this Nanlite pavy tube 15, they probably cost around, I don't know, maybe not have a 200, but they're very, very good. And uh, um, the good thing about them is that they will serve you for future projects or future video productions that you have. Now, let me go quickly into the computer. I'm going to open DaVinci Resolve and let me actually open a project that I've already edited. Let's say this project with slow motion. And I'm going to show you actually in DaVinci Resolve on how to check if your lighting is good. Because what we see on the screen, it's not what we see in real life. It's totally different. For this, go to DaVinci Resolve, go into your color page, okay? And go to your clip, okay? To your A roll here. All right, so here we have my clip over here. And in order to check if the light is correct, you have to open the waveform. You see, come over here. You see, you've got parade, waveform, vector scope, histogram, and all that stuff. In order to see where your light is sitting, you have to go to the waveform. And now, see what's happening now. If I go to this knob over here, to primary color wheels, look what's happening. If I go to my shadows, you see, if I drag this to the left or to the right, let me drag it to the left. You see, my shadows go down. You see, my shadows go down. As you can see here, they're all below zero. 
no shadow should be going below zero. So you have to go here again and drag it to the right until nothing is touching zero. You see, somewhere like this is fine. You see straight away, you see there are a lot of details everywhere. You see, even if it's dark and moody, you can still see the details, okay? But if I go back again and get this there, you see here, there's no information. It's just dark. You see, there's no information there. So make sure you always keep this just below zero. You see, even if some some color here is going just touching zero, it's fine. It looks good on the screen, but don't go below zero. This is a good way for the same with the highlights. You see, like nothing is clipping here. Don't get this go higher than this line. Normally it's going to be 100, but because this is shot in, um, in Vlog, I've got um, a lot more leeway here to play with the colors, but don't let it go more than the last line, okay? Keep it between the last and uh, this line over here. So if I go here to my highlights and I get my highlights up, you see, all the colors are going up. And if I'm going to go more than the last line, you see everything is clipping. This light is clipped and this one looks too bright. Okay, so you have to make sure that your highlights don't go more than the last line. But also you can see how it looks like. Obviously, look at your skin, skin tone. Somewhere here, it looks perfect. But even, even this one is a bit too much. So I'm going to go a bit lower. So keep it somewhere there, because I like my um, shot to be sort of like, you know, dark and moody a little bit. So this is a good shot. This looks good. So if I look at the waveform now, nothing is going below zero. It's just touching zero. But if I look on the screen, yeah, maybe there is a little bit too dark, but I like it. It's fine. Nothing is clipping. The highlights are in good shape. You see here. The light is there, see? This line over here, this is this line over there. Because obviously it's a light and it's supposed to be um, very bright. And uh, same with this one here. You see, if you got this lights here, they're clipping, then you know that these lights are these lights over here. And this is how I do it. And now let me tell you my second bonus tip for you on how to make your light cinematic. Do you see this light over here, how it's blooming? Do you know why? does that or that pink light over there do you know why it's blooming it's simply because i've got a filter i've got a tiffin filter and this is this is really 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 good uh, it's called a black promised filter and it does this cool dreamy effect with the light looks how cool it is and actually if i go now and i remove the filter look what's happening look what's happening now let it focus. You see, this bloom disappeared and there as well. You see? So this is a simple trick. And in cinematography, in films, they use it all the time. There are different filters. I mean, this one is a half. The one that I had on my um, lens, it was a one. It's obviously a bit more. Um, so in films, they always use black mist filters, always. Maybe it's a quarter, uh, maybe it's a half, but they always do uh, use these filters. And I've worked on a film productions uh, many, many times as an actor as well, and I saw what they use. And uh, yeah, it's incredible, but it just makes it makes a huge difference and makes your production look much better. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found some value out of it and you know, Leave a comment below, let me know what other videos and ideas you have for me, and I'll make them. It will be my pleasure. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and happy creation. Bye-bye.